Hello guys, this is Wonderbit Trading and we carry on with our weekly Bitcoin and Ethereum price analysis and this is the first one in 2020. So as usual, we go straight into the content. In front of you, you can see the BTC price chart and as usual, there are four different charts here. The one on the top left is the BTC futures, the one on the top right is the BTC dominance and two at the bottom uh, are coming from different exchanges. The one on the left has come from Bitstamp with the largest history of BTC price and the one on the bottom right is from Binance and this is exactly where we trade. So let's go from the weekly um, price chart and uh, as you can see on the futures, uh, BTC futures, we're still below the 50 MA. So 50 MA is acting as a resistance. We're sort of rechecking it several times. In terms of the dominance, we can see that we might form something like a double top. If we're breaking uh, this level of 67%, uh, we might uh, retest it back and then go down towards the 50 MA, which is currently at 63, but it's gonna like, steadily increase. And this is actually something that we see right now that the BTC price is not moving much while some of the altcoins are actually showing some good moves. Um, and then in terms of the BTC price itself to uh, USD, uh, it's uh, very similar in terms of the um, checking the resistance back or you can say that in the past couple of weeks we are in a horizontal channel, not much is actually happening there. Um, the bad thing is that the volume is actually going down, so we might see some move coming in a little while. However, there are no evidence right now, at least based on this particular chart, that we are going to the upside. Uh, and the price will start increasing shortly. Um, and that's the similar view is over here. So let's switch all our drawings uh, from the previous reviews and switch to the daily chart and we'll go into the details of all these graphs. So uh, last week, well, before New Year, we were assuming that this pattern is actually looking like a uh, head and shoulders. Uh, and if it's going to be completed right now, so if we're going to break uh, above the level of 7,600, uh, we might see a recheck of the downward channel. If we break in even this one, then we might see some move upwards. However, there are quite a lot of evidence suggesting that we are um, going to finish this move at this resistance level. So first of all, um, as I said, the volume is, is not that good, is not picking up. Uh, you can compare the volume when we actually were going up uh, uh, with the situation right now. Uh, we still haven't checked this uh, death cross, so this is why we still hold this arrow over here. Uh, so we should recheck this area. Uh, the price may wobble somewhere in between the 50 MA, 200 MA and the downward resistance line. Um, and at the same time, um, if this resistance will hold, then uh, the um, head and shoulders pattern didn't work exactly as we thought it would, um, with, with that potential of breaking the resistance and going even higher. Um, however, it still work in some sense. So we still see that after this uh, reversal button, we, we should expect a small upward move, at least of 8% or something like this, between 6 and 8% towards the area of 8,100. We talked about the dominance and you can clearly see here that on a daily chart, uh, we're coming towards a very important support area. Uh, if we're going to break this support, we're going to go further down, rechecking, retesting this downward channel, uh, or maybe even go further towards the uh, yellow line where we have another support of 65.5%. Uh, and this is what we expect in the nearest uh, future. Let's go to the historical price chart. So over here, this is coming from Bitstamp. Uh, what we actually expect is a further downward fall in, in Bitcoin. Um, and again, one thing very important, we don't see any increase in uh, volume. The volume is actually going down. And if the volume is quite low, there can be a, an easy move either to the up or to the downside of that. But usually the increase in price 
is accompanied by an increase in volume, while the decrease in price can go on a vo low volume with no problem. Um, so the crucial point here, the local uh, sub resistance is around uh, 7,500. If we break in this one, then we should expect another one of 200 MA, which is gonna go down. It's currently at 9,200, so somewhere in the region of 8,500, they will meet the price and the 200 MA if the price will break this resistance. If not, if it will recheck it again and then go down, then the crucial level over here will be around 6,500. If we break this one uh, with a nice candle, so we will carry on the downward movement. We might see uh, the move even below the 5,800. This is a very a crucial psychological mark because this, this is the bottom of the previous triangle. So this huge triangle in 2018, and this is its bottom. And that's why we actually marked it. And we think that this is quite an important area of support. Uh, however, psychologically, we think that it is quite important to, to break this one. So the m market will start panicking. Um, and this is exactly why we draw this uh, triangle over here. Uh, and this area would be counted as an accumulation area of around uh, 200 days. And then we'll start our long-term upward movement. Let's go to the Binance exchange where we currently trade. Um, so we're still in a downward trend. You can clearly see it here. We're still in, in the downward trend. Uh, we're actually right at the um, edge of that trend. We can say that we broke the 50 moving average, but the volume was extremely low, below the average 20-day uh, volume. Uh, we can still expect a downward move. Uh, there is a strong resistance at 7,800. Uh, let's go to the four hour chart to see whether we can uh, locate any local patterns or any local price movement. Um, not really guys, uh, as we can see, we're currently in a horizontal channel. The prices are going from the bottom to the top of that channel. Um, the area size not showing much the volume is not showing much uh, so what we expect uh, is to see some crucial movement during this week we either gonna break this particular um, formation in terms of the downward channel if we do that with a nice volume then we should expect to break even 7800 and go further up if not then we should be back in a downward channel and this area this level of support at around 6,500, this will be the crucial point at which either the bulls will hold it or they will actually lose it and the price will go further down. That's it with the BTC. Let's switch to the Ethereum price chart. And there's actually not much happening with Ethereum at all. So let's start with the weekly. And straight from the weekly chart, you can actually see what was going on for the past three weeks. Not much of the movement was happening. Um, let's go to the daily chart because here we can also see that uh, we are currently in a downward trend. This downward trend will try to break it. The resistance at 139. Um, at the same time, this is a 50 MA resistance area. If we can break this one, then the next stop is around uh 1058 uh so if we break in this one then we check in it and then probably go further up however again for for us this scenario is very unlikely now because you can see that the volume with uh, every step is actually going down 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 and you can see that after each spike of that volume um we will carry on with the downward movement so currently there are no evidence in support that we're going to actually break this right now during today, for example, or this week. If we do, however, with a nice volume, at least above the average and at the same time above the 50 MA and above the downward uh, trend, then we might think of the retest and re-enter the position at the retest um, to gain the small profit of around 10%. 
but what I also wanted to show you is actually a couple of positions that we traded and we posted on uh, trading your account. Mm, the first one is Dash. Dash was working very good. Uh, the crucial idea here was that we were in the down uh, wedge and uh, we saw the nice divergence between the price and the RSI indicator for quite a while and on this particular candle this one on the 26th of December which was a nice hammer uh, we recognize this as a reversal candle due to several indicators and we entered the position over here on the break of that candle uh, with the stop loss just below it and the take profit of um, around 20 percent at this level of resistance and we finished this deal over the weekends which was very nice and very profitable we're currently expecting another deal from the zcash with usdt pair uh, and the setup is the following that we currently see the double bottom uh, forming uh, we see the spike of the volume when we're trying to break the level of resistance uh, that level of uh, 32.9 dollars uh, we broke the resistance uh, the 50 ma resistance and what we expect is to see the further move upwards towards the area of 35 dollars and then retest of that 33 dollar support now and this will be our end position at the recheck of the broken resistance and currently becoming a support. Um, so this is something we're closely monitoring and expecting in the nearest future. Another thing that I wanted to show you uh, was IOS. Uh, IOS uh, is currently in triangle formation. Uh, we don't see the volume here, so we have to be quite cautious about it, but what we usually can expect from such um, patterns is that we're going to break it and go towards the um, almost the top. Uh, and this level is the level of the VPVR. This is the largest VPVR in the past, well, almost six months. So this area we're closely monitoring the break out of the triangle uh, and we expect it to be to the upper side of the triangle and then going well it may take about uh, one week or two weeks uh, during the daily price um, but to ex we expect it to go around that area with an increase of um, 30 to 25 percent something like that that's it for today. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive the weekly reviews of the Bitcoin market. And best of luck with your trading.